So uh, our customers have been asking us for, for a long time now, loud and clear, for um, mobile launching capability. And so I'm very excited to announce the, the mobile module. And the mo mobile module is very easy to describe. It does exactly that. It allows you to launch Vision HMI SCADA applications on a smartphone. Um, one of the most exciting things about the mobile module is that it's not a separate development environment. It's not a separate, um, you know, a limited palette of components or anything like that. It's able to launch any existing Vision client application uh, on on any modern smartphone. Um, and and the mobile module is really a lot more fun to look at than to talk about. So I'm going to move real quickly into a demonstration here. And because you can't actually see me using a phone, we're going to use uh, an iPhone simulator here to show how the mobile module works. <clears throat> so here we've got an iPhone. And there's really three things I want to show you in this demo. And the first one is how you get Ignition Mobile onto your phone. Ignition Mobile is a web app. So, so what you do is you have your iPhone, maybe you're connected through Wi-Fi to your plant, and you open up your web browser, just like for launching a, a standard vision application, you point that web browser to your uh, Ignition Gateway web address. So when you're at the Ignition Gateway on a mobile device, it presents you a mobile optimized web page. <clears throat> and here you can see that it's presenting me a, a list of two projects that I could launch. But before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and add, add this web app to my home screen. And when I do that, and the, anybody who's used uh, the Ignition Vision module, this is a sort of very familiar workflow. Now I've got a shortcut on my, uh, on my mobile desktop here that will bring me right back into that Ignition mobile application. And when I do it this way, I get full use of my device's screen real estate. So I've got two projects here. And the reason I'm going to show you two different projects is they sort of use two um, strategies for, for how to run vision uh, projects on your mobile device. So this first project that I want to show you was created as a normal vision project, but with the aspect ratio of, a, of an iPhone screen in mind. So when I click on here to log in, uh, I, I set this project to automatically log in, which is why it didn't prompt me for a username and password. And here you can see what what looks like an iPhone app, but really it's just a vision module that uses some of the uh, design cues from the iPhone. And I can navigate around here, and you'll start seeing live data coming in right on my phone. I can, you can see I've got a graph here. And these are all using the standard widget set of the mobile module. Um, there's nothing new. There's no uh, you know new mobile-only components or anything like that. So anyone familiar with designing vision projects will be very at home with the mobile module. And I can interact with the screen as well. You can see I'm, I'm in pointer mode. When I do a touch and hold gesture, I get my little context menu here. And that lets me interact with the buttons on the screen and things like that. So here you can see uh, some navigation, here's a table, pie chart, all those same components that you've uh, gotten used to with the vision module. Now I'm going to log out of this application, and I'm going to go into this other application. Now this application was not made with the mobile module in mind. So it was made to fit on a normal computer screen. And I want to show you what that feels like with the mobile module, because a big <clears throat> use case that we see for the mobile module is allowing mobile access to existing screens so that you can really cut down on redevelopment time. And here you see I've sort of got a, a viewport into a much larger project. And if I bring up that context menu and switch over to pan mode, I can scroll around and view this large project within my iPhone. And I could zoom out here so I can see more of the project. And similar to the other application, if I switch back to pointer mode, I can interact with my project here, 
you know, switch some HOAs, go back to pan mode and scroll around. And so that's how you're going to access existing screens uh, through the mobile module, even though, of course, your mobile device is, uh, is much smaller than a standard device. So that's it for the demo. Um, now, the next question most people ask is, wow, it looks great. How much does it cost? And here you can see it uh, retails for $3,500. And what device does it work on? We've tested the mobile module uh, to work on all iOS devices, so that's iPhone, iPod, and iPad, and Android devices running Android 2.2 or later. So, you know, the, the Droid X or Droid 2 are, are examples of devices like that. And we expect to uh, shortly certify BlackBerry version 6 or later. Um, essentially, any device that has a modern web browser that supports JavaScript 